Hello friends, welcome to wifi.com changing the way of learning presents the current affair 2017 April 2nd week in English. So friends, in this video we are going to present you each and every important thing which is relevant to your upcoming exam and all these current affair we are going to cover in this video is from the second week of the April. Okay. And friends, if you want to prepare vocab from the application, then you can download our vocab 24 app. This is the highest rated app and you will get it daily the Hindu editorial in this application. Apart from it, you will get 10 new words and the practice test, translator, dictionary, everything which you will uh, need to strong your vocab. And friends, if you like this video, please subscribe so that we can provide you more videos, content for your upcoming exam. So friends, first of all, we are going to cover the international section. After that, the national, then trade and banking, economics, sports everything we are going to cover in this video so let's see the first question which country has declared a three-month emergency following twin church bombing okay so recently there was a, a one one of the country declared emergency for the three month so first of all we are going to see the news after that we will going to pick up the answer okay so Syria declares three month state of emergency in egypt so egypt is a nation which declared three month emergency and the president of the egypt is cc okay you can learn this name by cc so your answer is b and friends you also need to learn that the neighboring countries of the egypt also okay so egypt is a meridian country there is a meridian sea which is bordered by the egypt and there is even gaza strip then israel then gulf of akaba red sea uh, to the east and south sudan to the south libya to the west so there are few countries okay nearby it so you need to remember the neighboring countries also so let's see another question India Australia signed various pacts so recently the visiting prime minister Australian prime minister came in, to, came to the India and uh, they had a few pacts with the India okay so there are nearby six agreements between the India and Australia including one for expanding counter-terrorism corporation uh, and there are apart from it there are railway railway agreement there is a defense agreement there are a lot more agreements which was signed between the India and Australia okay so let's see another question which country has nomadic elephant military exercise with india very important question friends okay nomadic elephant military exercise with india so let's see the news 12th indo-mongolian joint military exercise nomadic elephant held in warang so the country which jointly did this exercise was mongolia so your answer is mongolia c is your answer and it is a country which is sandwiched between the china and the russia friends and you need to remember one thing that mongolia do not share the common boundary with the kazakhstan if you see the map that it looks like they share a common boundary but if we if we go depth into it then you will get to know that they don't share a common boundary okay and it is also the world's second largest landlocked country behind kazakhstan and this and the largest landlocked country that does not border a close sea okay and the capital and the largest city of this uh, mongolia is the Ulan Bhattar. Ulan Bhattar is the largest and the capital city of this nation. Which country has hosted G7 Digital G7 Digital Ministerial Meeting 2017? Another important question. So G7 Ministerial Meeting held in Luka. And this Luka is where? This Luka is in Italy. Okay. So this event G7 Digital Ministerial Meeting 2017 was conducted by Italy okay so it is a traditional meeting held once a year between the seven most industrialized countries of the world with the participation of the european union okay and the g7 foreign ministers meeting usually deals with the most urgent problem in the international agenda and which are these seven nations friends the g7 belongs to the us uk then canada then germany france italy germany france italy and japan Okay, so these are the seven nations which formed a group named G7. Which country has executed most number of people in 2016? So let's see the news. The number of execution worldwide dropped by 37% in 2016 compared with the year before. So first of all, number of execution worldwide dropped by 37% in 2016. Okay, which, uh, which was uh, which was said by Amnesty International and China executed most people than all other countries in the world put together. So China executed most number of people and behind that there is Iran then Saudi Arabia. So your answer is China and if we see about the India friends in the last 10 years only three executions was did by India. So India don't believe in the execution. Okay. So there are three persons like 
if you remember the ajmal kasab afzal guru okay yakub menon so these are the few people okay which was hanged by indian government and because of their heinous crime okay heinous crime so if we see the data from 2004 to the 2012 there was not a single person which was executed okay and if we see the 2016 also there was no one which was executed by the indian government so india is very liberal in terms of execution which country has signed a mou with india to upgrade indian railways so let's see the news france india in pact to upgrade railways so there is a agreement between the india and france to upgrade high speed rail network modernization of the current operation safety then security operation okay so these are the thing that uh, that was talked between the india and the france so your answer is france and you one thing that you need to also remember there is a one thing that friends talgo there is a one train train which is the fastest train in india right now we are uh, we took this train from the spain so this is a spanish train it is not from the france okay this question might be come because this train was on the testing from the delhi to the mumbai and it was a journey of 1400 km and the shatabdi express previously covered this in 16 hours and uh, this train covered in covered this distance in 12 hour so this train became the fastest train and uh, this was on the test run previously so this telgo train is from the spain that is the only thing that you need to remember now let's see some national news which city is hosting second national children film festival so this festival was inaugurated on the uh, inaugurated by the information the broadcasting minister that is venkaiah naidu and uh, this the city which hosted this event is the visakhapatnam so your answer is c visakhapatnam is the city which hosted this second national children film festival which city is hosting name care world health day sambet 2017 So first of all, friends, you need to understand this name care. What is this name care? Okay, this is a non-profit organization. This is an NGO which was uh, started in the Tamil Nadu. Okay, they deals with the healthcare facilities. They provide training to the all those persons who required healthcare, uh, healthcare services, and they, they provide healthcare facility to the lower section of the society also. So these are the few things that this NGO did, and they are doing a tremendous job. and the world health day summit 2017 the city which hosted this event is the new delhi so your answer is a that is new delhi and the president of india shri pranam mukherjee inaugurated the event okay and the slogan or the theme of this uh, name care world health summit is unite for a healthy mind this is also important thing that you need to remember india has offered a new dash million dollar line of credit specifically for defense purchases to bangladesh so friends you need to give the answer and the Okay first of all we are going to take the news Bangladesh PM that is a Sheikh Hasina is on the visit to India as you know that okay she came to the India and there are 22 agreements which was signed between the India and Bangladesh in the area of defense energy cyber security media okay and India provide 4.5 billion dollar development assistance line of credit on the outer space on the passenger and the cruise vessel services apart from it india also provide 500 million dollar line of credit specifically for the defense purchases okay so your answer is a 500 million dollar india provide to the bangladesh okay so first of all friends there are few things that you need to remember also in this part of the story that the uh, the world biggest okay top exporter between 2010 to 2014 are us russia exporter of the weapons okay i'm talking about the exporter china then germany and france these are the biggest exporter and if we talk about the importer biggest arm importer then india is on first place then saudi arabia then china then uae then and pakistan so these are the biggest five importers of the arms and at a time when india close to 70% of india military hardware requirement is import dependent and make in india is being pushed for balancing out this huge gap in gap in import and export ratio okay and notably in the last one year india exported defense equipment to 22 countries okay so we are not lagging behind so much lagging behind in the export also we are taking so much Uh, so much we are investing so much money in the import also import but friends we are working on our export model also okay so in the last year we exported defense equipment to 22 countries including the us and uk israel and russia too for example like india exported foreign equipment electronic assemblies flight control panel to the us 
transmitting tube to the UK, Megan Sukhoi aircraft to the Russia. So these are the few things that India is exporting. Okay, like Cheetal helicopters to Afghanistan, Dhruv helicopters to Nepal. So these are the few things that India is exporting also. India is developing its exporting power also from the past few years. India's first DNA bank for wildlife will be set up in this city. So let's see the news. North India is, is all set to get its first DNA for wildlife. Okay, and, and the city, which is in city, the, the DNA bank for wildlife will be going to set up is Bareilly. So your answer is C. C is your answer. This city has recently hosted a national level summit on TB. Okay, national level summit on TB. So let's see the news that TB free India campaign to eradicate the disease from India by 2022 was launched at the national level summit was held in Dharamshala. So first of all, you need to remember that India made a deadline to eliminate the disease by 2025. And second, this national conference was held in Dharamshala. So your answer is A. And you need to remember that, that uh, this is an infection disease caused by the bacterium Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Which, uh, which generally affects the lungs but can also affect other part of the body also. Okay, most infectious do not have symptoms in which case it is known as the latent tuberculosis. Bharat Ke Veer web portal is powered by which bank? So this scheme is launched for all those, uh, all those families who, who lost their soldiers, who lost their son or a, or a husband in the border, okay, in the, in the line of the duty. So this scheme is launched for all those persons towards the family of a soldiers who lost their life in the line on duty. Okay, so Rajnath Singh launched a Bharat Ke Veer web portal and mobile application that will enable donors contribute towards the families of the soldier. Okay, and this was supported by National Information Center powered by State Bank of India. So your answer is State Bank of India. Okay, so this is a portal which is made to provide a financial help to the soldier's family if they lost their lives in the line on control or line on duty. PM to launch a digital exhibition on Champaran Satyagraha. So this is another very important event friends. PM Modi will launch a special digital exhibition on the Champaran Satyagraha. A unique initiative to reinvention the theme of the movement undertaken by the Mahatma Gandhi a century ago. The exhibition titled Bapu Ka Kalyanjali. Okay, Kalyanjali will be launched at the National Archives in New Delhi. And friends, there are many important things that you need to remember from the Champaran Satyagraha. Okay, this was the first Satyagraha movement which was inspired by the Mahatma Gandhi occurred in Champaran district of Bihar. So this Champaran is in Bihar and the Kheda district of Gujarat and another the event was also did by Mahatma Gandhi in Kheda, okay, in 17 and 18. So Champaran Satyagraha was the first to be started but the word Satyagraha was used for the first time in anti rollet Act agitation. Okay, so this this is, was the first Satyagraha Andolan but the word Satyagraha was used in the anti rollet Act agitation. So first of all you need to remember this. Second, there was an indigo the, the British is forced to produce indigo a dye. Okay, forced and uh, forced the farmers to produce an indigo dye because there was a German invention in the dye industry also which was giving in a cheap rate. So they are forcing Indians to to produce this indigo in a large amount and they are not giving enough money in, in, in exchange of that okay and they are not producing their own food they are producing their indigo so because of that there was because of that there was a, a agitation which was all around the samparan and and that time there was a one person named raj kumar shukla a money lander who owned some land Okay, he convinced Gandhi ji to go to the Champaran and thus the Champaran Satyagraha began. And Gandhi arrived in Champaran on 10th April 1917 with a team of eminent lawyers. So Gandhi ji came with some eminent lawyers. Okay, like Briz Kishore Prasad, Rajendra Prasad, Anurag Narayan, okay, Ram Naomi Prasad, Acharya Kriplani. So these are the eminent lawyers at that, that time and they came with the Mahatma Gandhi. Which state has started Dindyal Rasoi Yojana? So MP Maharashtra or MP Madhya Pradesh government kicked started this ambitious Dindyal Rasoi Yojana under which subsidized meals will be available at 5 rupees per plate to the people, especially the economical disadvantaged section of the society. So they are providing uh, food in just rupees 5. And they are, this initiative is on the line of state run Amma Canteen started by the former CM Jalalita. Okay, so Jalalita started this. Uh, initiative in Tamil Nadu and they started in Madhya Pradesh. So your answer is Madhya Pradesh. This city has hosted International Convention on World Homeopathy Day. Okay, first of all you need to understand that homeopathy is not an Indian invention friend. It is a, uh, the founder of the homeopathy is a Dr. Christian 
Frederick. Christian Frederick. He is from the Japan. He is um, sorry. He is from the German, and he is a German physician who was a great scholar, linguist, and an acclaimed scientist. Okay, so he was the founder of homeopathy, and the event is being organized to commemorate the 262 birth anniversary of the founder of homeopathy. And this event was uh, organized in New Delhi. So your answer is New Delhi. Which portal launched on the occasion of 250 anniversary of Survey of India? So Naksha portal launched by the Dr. Harshvardhan on 250 anniversary of Survey of India. Okay, so the name of the portal is Naksha. So your answer is B. Ministry of Rural Development has raised rupees dash crore to the state as a first tranche for the financial year 17-18 under Manrega. Okay, so the, there is a, some amount which was approved by the central government, Ministry of Rural Development for the Manrega. So what is the amount? Okay, so let's see the news. The Ministry of Rural Development has released rupees twenty three thousand four hundred and forty three point zero nine crore to the state as a first tranche for the financial year 17-18 under Manrega. Okay, so your answer is. Two three double four three point zero nine crore, which was sanctioned by the Ministry of Rural Development, and they are forcing or they are um, basically their aim is to conserve water. Okay, and they are emphasizing more on water conservation. This is the important thing that you need to remember. In this year, Manrega uh, Manrega work is also emphasized with the mission water conservation. What is the new name of centrally sponsored schemes? So let's see the news. The government has reduced the number of centrally sponsored schemes to 28th umbrella scheme from 66. So previously, central government sponsored 66 schemes, and right now they reduce it to the 28. So your answer is 28. Okay, and in this 28, there are six schemes have been categorized as a core of the core. Which are very important to implement. 20 scheme as a core scheme, and remaining two are as optional scheme. Okay, and these uh, these cut was done on the recommendation of the subgroup of Chief Ministerial on rationalization of the central sponsored schemes. Which country has launched sports partnership with India in Mumbai? So recently, Australia Prime Minister came to India. Okay, Mr. Turnbull came to India, and in the presence of cricketing legend Sachin Tendulkar, will ad advance India like India Australia cooperation in the four areas like in athlete. Coach training, development, sports science, sports governance, integrity, grassroots participation. These are the areas where they did, uh, they did sign a corp agreement. Okay, to mutually to increase all these things. So your answer is Australia. Which city has hosted India's first ever micro drama festival? So India first ever micro drama festival held in New Delhi. So your answer is New Delhi. This event was held in New Delhi and acts named after Theo P. So. Plakia believed to be the first actor in the Greek drama, the long, their day-long event. Theopis saw a screening of 28 independent plays at the Indira Gandhi National Centre for the Arts. So, so the, so the city which hosted this event is the New Delhi. Which state has started e-seva app to provide information about welfare schemes? So one of our state recently uh, launched e-seva app to provide all the welfare schemes to uh, to promote ourselves to the large gathering. then introduce e seva app so that they can provide more information about the welfare scheme to the to the state people okay so that's why haryana government launches this launch this scheme so your answer is c in the first phase information about nearby 250 schemes and program of 30 different department had been made available on the e seva mobile app which state has launched suraksha app for mobile safety another important question so karnataka cm siddharth maiya Has unveiled mobile app Suraksha for the safety of the women in the city. So your answer is Karnataka. Karnataka state has launched Suraksha app for women's safety. Who has become the world most followed leader on Instagram? So Modi became the world most followed leader on Instagram, and Instagram is a uh, is a photo sharing app. Okay, and in on second place, second place uh, the person is on second place is that Donald Trump. So your answer is Narendra Modi. who will be the head of a panel to recommend regulation for virtual currencies so friends in the first week of the april i told you about the bitcoins okay which is a virtual currency so all to make all the regulations to for and the uh, discipline and the to check the this virtual currency government has set up a committee okay and this committee is headed by special secretary economic affairs that is dinesh sharma so your answer is special economic secretary Okay, and government has decided to close the regulatory gap to keep a check on virtual currencies, including bitcoins, and has set up a time-bounded 
interdisciplinary committee to recommend an action plan for dealing with such currencies okay which state has launched a dharna scheme so this dharna scheme is launched by andhra pradesh so your answer is b and this scheme is for improving traditional occupation and to uplift the lower section of the society which state has launched amma uh, amma ku vandanam scheme so this scheme is also launched by andhra pradesh okay this program is to pay tribute to their mothers will be introduced in the government run school in andhra pradesh okay this amma ku vandanam the school children will take the blessing of of their mother and may also do pada puja that is washing their feet which state has launched durga vahini squad another important question so as in up okay there is a one anti romeo squad was made and uh, in respect of that haryana government also launched a, a, a squad that is a durga vahini which will check the harassment or stop the harassment of the women on public places so your answer is haryana in which city cisco has launched a global cyber range lab so cisco launches fifth global cyber range lab in gurugram so us based tech giant cisco has launched its first fifth global cyber range lab where with an aim to train indian firms and government agencies on re- real world cyber attack in gurugram okay so india is uh, india is taking all the cyber attacks carefully and they launch they are providing a, all the support to the cisco and cisco is going to provide all the all the uh, important elements or the important data by which indian firms and government agencies can secure their secure their data okay and they can protect itself from the cyber attack and this lab is established in gurugram or gurgaon so your answer is c what is the outlay of a bheem cash back and referral bonus for 6 month so bheem aadhar a digital payment platform launched by the prime minister and uh, prime minister narendra modi launched this is on the 120th birth anniversary of the bhimrao ambedkar in nagpur Okay he launched the Bheem Aadhaar platform for merchant cashback referral bonus scheme for Bheem and declared 75 township going cash cash okay and there is a two thing in it, in it that is cashback and referral bonus and they outlay of rupees 495 crore for a period of 6 month so your answer is 495 crore which company has adopted Arisal village in Maharashtra to develop as India's first idle retail village so Maharashtra to have India's first idle retail village that is Arisal Okay this village is in Maharashtra and the company which adopted adopted this village is Ma- Microsoft so your answer is Microsoft Microsoft company adopted Hari Harisal village in Maharashtra to develop as India's first idle digital village the uh, the NGT has imposed a fine of rupees dash on Tehri Hydro Development Corporation Limited so NGT find imposed a fine of 50 lakh rupees on THDC for disposing debris and muck excavated out of construction road for power house of the chamoli base vishnugad and pipa goti hydroelectric project in the alghanda river so they find 50 lakh rupees which state has launched tare zameen par program so jharkhand police initiates tare zameen par program and in this program with a motive to enlighten children in naxal affected areas of jharkhand and uh, government is doing too much to uh, some initiative to educate these children to tell their rights and to tell their to tell that education is foremost important and they don't need to they don't need to go to the naxal naxalite ideologies okay so because of that they are providing training they are providing education and they are encouraging children to live and lead happy lives okay so your answer is jharkhand now let's see some trade and banking news India recently signed a 175 million dollar loan agreement to support construction of high voltage transmission system with so recently India signed a 175 million dollar loan agreement to one of the organization so what is the name of that so India government Indian government and ADB that is the Asian Development Bank signed a 175 million dollar loan agreement to support construction of high voltage transmission system to evacuate power generated from new mega solar park to interstate grid and improve reliability of the national grid system okay so india signed with adb so your answer is adb and you need to remember friends the headquarter of adb is, it is in philippines and uh, it is a so the purpose of this organization is a social and economic development and the uh, member of this organization is 67 countries are member of this organization and uh, the president of this organization right now is the takihiko nakayo okay takihiko nakayo is the president of adb 
So all these information are important for you. Which bank has collaborated with BSNL to upgrade bandwidth at all its branches? Okay, so one of our bank want to upgrade all its branches. That's why they signed a, a agreement with the BSNL. So what is the name of that? So Canada Bank partnered BSNL to upgrade bandwidth at all other branches. So your answer is Canada Bank. Okay, and the headquarter of the Canada Bank is in Bangalore. And this bank was established in Mangalore. Okay, this bank was established in Mangalore in 1906. The and the current CEO of this bank is the Rakesh Sharma. What is the limit on cash transactions? So, so recently the income tax department made a limit to withdraw the cash. So ban ban on cash transaction in excess of rupees two lakh will be not be will two lakh will not be applicable to withdraw from banks and post office saving accounts the income tax department said okay so your answer is 2 lakh rupees so only the limit of the to take out the cash from the bank or the post office office post office is 2 lakh rupees so let's see another question which bank has launched harudaya deposit scheme so one of the small finance bank launched a scheme named harudaya deposit scheme so let's see the news esaf small finance bank has launched a social deposit scheme called harudaya deposit as a function held in a thrissur the deposit scheme as the name suggests stands for a social cause okay they launched this scheme for a social cause through which esaf bank provide the customer an opportunity to be a part of the social welfare project so this scheme is launched by esaf small finance bank which bank customer has won rupees 1 crore under cashless scheme so as you know that pm modi inaugurated one scheme previously to promote the digital transmission digital payment digital transaction so can central bank of india customer win rupees 1 crore under the modi's cashless scheme okay so the, so the transaction of rupees 1590 has banked back the cbi that is a central bank of india customer a lucky Bounty of rupees one crore under the Modi government bounty. Okay, so the uh, meaning of the bounty is reward of one crore under the Modi government proposal scheme to popularize digital payments. Okay, so your answer is Central Bank of India customer has won rupees one crore under the cashless under the cashless scheme. Which company has acquired eBay India recently? So let's see the news. Flipkart acquired eBay India recently, friends. So e-commerce major Flipkart raised USD 1.4 billion from the Tencent eBay Microsoft at post transaction valuation of USD 11.6 billion. So your answer is Flipkart. Okay. And the Flipkart is an electronic commerce company, as you know that, headquartered in Bangalore, and it was founded in 2007 by the Sachin Bansal and Benny Bansal. Okay, they are not brothers, as their surname suggests, it is, they are not brother. Okay, and this company is registered in Singapore, and the first product they launched is the book named Living Microsoft to Change the World. Okay, and they are the alumni of IIT, they worked on Amazon, that Amazon, okay, Amazon.com, Amazon.com, previously they worked in Amazon.com, and after that they quit the job and started Flipkart. And right now they are giving employ, employing opportunities to the 33,000 people. And there are some subsidiaries of this organization also that is a Mantra, Jabong, PhonePay, eBay, eCard. So all these uh, brands are acquired by the Flipkart. Another question, which bank has collaborated with the postal department to promote cashless transaction? So recently one of our bank collaborated with the postal department to promote cashless transaction. So let's see the news. The department of the post has joined hand with the SBI to promote SBI Buddy e-wallet and POS machine for cashless transaction at post office counters while booking speed post and registered post items. Okay, so they collaborated with the SBI. So your answer is SBI. Which one of the following recently got RBI note for e-wallet? So Amazon got RBI note for e-wallet in India and they are going to establish their own, okay, own e-wallet against pay ATM and free charge. So they are, uh, they are coming into the another segment and they are working against the pay ATM and free charge. They are, these are the two companies which are the biggest rival in India right now in terms of e-wallet against Amazon. So your answer is Amazon. Okay, they provide, they applied for this previous year and right now they got this license for the e-wallet. Bank Bureau 
Bank Board Bureau has recently launched GRAF for public sector banks. What does the term R denotes in GRAF? So let's see the entire news French because uh, you need to understand the full form of GRAF. To help public sector banks against private sector rivals and to prepare them for possible mergers in the future, Bank Board Bureau has drawn up an elaborate governance, reward and accountability framework. Okay, they made a governance, reward and accountability framework. So the GRAF seeks to ensure that corporate governance at PSBs is in keeping with the various pieces of legislation including the Companies Act 2013. Okay, so the full form of this GRAF is Governance, Reward and Accountability Framework and the R stands for Reward. So this is your answer. Indian Academy of Highway Engineers signed a MOU with the which university to set up a center for advanced tra transportation technology and tra system. So let's see the news in line with the Ministry of Road Transport and Highway Vision to influence and adopt global innovation into the transportation sector. A MOU was signed between the ministry through the Indian Academy of Highway Engineers and University of New South Wales. Okay, so they signed an agreement with the University of New South Wales. Okay, so your answer is A, that is University of New South Wales. Let's see another one. What was the threshold under the first phase of the Operation Clean Money? So Income Tax Department launches Operation Clean Money second to prop 60,000 people. Okay, so Income Tax Department has identified more than 60,000 people. Some of them described as high risk under the second phase of Operation Clean Money launched on 14th April to detect the generation of black money after demonetization. Okay, and the, they capped at deposit of rupees 5 lakh and above. The threshold. The threshold under the first phase of the operation which began on 31st January and ended on 15 Feb was capped at deposit of 5 lakh rupees and above. So your answer is D, 5 lakh rupees. So friends, now we are going to see the appointment section. Recently, which one of the following has been appointed as a UN Messenger of Peace by United Nations? So Malala Yousafzai to be the United Nations Messenger of Peace. Okay, so the United Nations Secretary that is Antonio Guterres has selected Nobel Prize Peace Prize winner Yousafzai to be the UN Messenger for Peace, the highest honor by an UN Chief on a global citizen. And there are other, there are some other persons also recognized as a UN Messenger of Peace as Michael Douglas, Leonardo DiCaprio, Okay, Jane Good, uh, Good, Goodall and Daniel. So these are the other persons which recognized as a UN Messenger of Peace. So your answer is Malala Yousafzai. Mukhtar Datta Tomar has been appointed as India's ambassador to which country? So let's see the news. Mukhtar Datta Tomar was appointed as a new Indian ambassador to the Germany. Okay, so she is a 1984 batch IFS officer presently working as an additional secretary in the MEA and she is appointed as the ambassador to Germany. So your answer is B. Who, which one of the following has recently been appointed as a UNHCR Goodwill Ambassador? Okay, so UNHCR Goodwill Ambassador. So let's see the news. The UNHCR, the UN Refugee Agency, announced the appointment of internationally acclaimed actress and philanthropist Christine Davis as a Goodwill Ambassador. Okay, so three years ago, Christine went to the journey to the Ethiopia, Uganda, Republic of Congo, and she met with the refugees and they she heard their stories. They worked with she worked with them. Okay, so because of all these work, UNSCR appointed Christine Davis as a Goodwill Ambassador. Which one of the following has recently been appointed as a RBI Executive Director? So Malvika Sinha appointed as RBI Executive Director following the appointment of BP Kanango as a Deputy Governor. So you need to remember the name of the Deputy Governor also Kanango and the Executive Director also. Okay, so your answer is Malvika Sinha. Who has been appointed as the MD of the Saraswati Cooperative Bank? This Saraswati Cooperative Bank is the India's largest urban cooperative bank. Okay, and she is the first woman chief of India's largest urban cooperative bank. So your answer is Smita Sandhani. B is your answer. Smita is the first woman chief of India's largest urban cooperative bank named Saraswat, Saraswat Cooperative Bank. Which one of the following has appointed as a member of CBDT recently? So Ajit Kumar Srivastava, Shabri Bhattasili named as a new CBDT members. Okay, so Ajit Kumar and Shabri, both this person appointed as a both this person appointed as a as a member of the CBDT. So your answer is D that is B and C. Which one of the following is appointed as an MD of the LIC? 
so recently sunita sharma and venugopal appointed as the md of the lic so your answer is d mahabaleshwara appointed as the md of which bank okay so mahabaleshwara ms take charge as a new md and ceo of karnataka bank so your answer is c that is karnataka bank who has been appointed as the chief of un development program that is this is very important question friends and the un chief antonio guterres has named as a german with extensive experience at the world organization ashim steiner as a new administrator of the un development program okay previously worked in unep that is environmental program in kenya okay and right now he is selected as a undp chief so your answer is d who has been appointed as a whole time member of the insolvency and the bankruptcy board of india recently so mukhu lita vijayawargya take charge as a whole time member of iwbi so your answer is b mukhu lita now let's see some awards question 64th national film festival national film festival awards was uh, was announced and there are few names that you need to remember in this story first of all best feature film that is kasav okay which is a marathi movie then best actor ashish kumar rustam best actress surbhi lakshmi okay the, the this movie is from is in malayalam language okay malayalam language and then best hindi movie nirja director by the ram madhwani and then best director rajesh okay rajesh got this for ventilator this is a marathi movie then best film on social issues that is pink and after that you need to remember this question also the best film uh, the best film friendly state award was given to uttar pradesh because uttar pradesh normally uh, normally put the movie as a tax free movie okay so that's why this award was given to uttar pradesh okay so these are the few important things that you need to remember from the 64th national film awards which one of the following has been awarded as a Asian Business Woman of the Year in UK. So Bihar origin Asha Khemka, who arrived in the United Kingdom with her family in 1978 without English language skills, went on to change the lives of a thousand as an educationist and named Asian Business Woman of the Year. So your answer is Asha Khemka. Asha Khemka. Which port has topped the ranking of port on sanitation? So your answer is Haldia. Okay, this port is in Kolkata. Haldia port and bank the award as as the best sanitation port which state has won krishi karman karman award 1516 for commendable increase in food grain production so let's see the news the union minister of agriculture has selected himachal pradesh for the krishi karman award 1516 for the commendable increase in a food grain production so your answer is himachal pradesh now let's see some sports question as K Sham Kumar is related to which sports okay K Sham Kumar is a very famous player from boxing friends because right now because uh, he won the Thailand international tournament in Bangkok without even stepping inside the ring for the summit clash okay previously he won the gold medal in 2015 edition and in this year he had to fight in the finals with the olympic champion Ham Hassan Boy but because of the injury Hassan Boy walked out of the final and he got the walk over and second time he won the gold medal in Thailand international tournament so your answer is boxing in which city nba is setting up its first basketball school in india okay so a network of tuition based basketball development programs is started in mumbai and they started this institute in mumbai okay Who has won Chinese Grand Prix? So Lewis Hamilton won Chinese Grand Prix, and he is from Mercedes team. Okay, he won this award. That is Chinese Grand Prix. So your answer is Lewis Hamilton. Davis Cup is related to which sports? Another important question. Davis Cup India recently beat Uzbekistan 4-1 and came into the World Group playoff, and they defeated this Uzbekistan in Asia Oceania group. and uh, they are going to play the world group playoff in september against the opponent that will be decided later through a draw in london so your answer is tennis which team has won asia school hockey championship so india lift asian school hockey championship and uh, which was held in malaysia and with they which they defeated it in finals okay to malaysia okay they defeated malaysia in the finals so your answer is india india won the Asian School Hockey Championship. Now let's see some death questions. 
Akhilesh Gupta passed away recently. Who he was? So Akhilesh Gupta was the Badminton Association of India president, and he was a famous politician, professor, philanthropist. Okay, and he was a son of a freedom fighter, late Babu Banarsi Das, former CM of Uttar Pradesh. So your answer is politician. Now let's see some books question. Who is the author of the book title? The The Flaming Tresses of Draupadi. So Virappa Moli present copy of his new book to the president. So the former union minister and senior Congress leader Virappa Moli was the author of this book. So your answer is Virappa Moli. Who is the author of the book Hope in a Challenged Democracy and Indian Narrative? So VP receives the book Hope in a Challenged Democracy and Indian Narrative, which was written by Shri Ashwani Kumar. Okay, so your answer is B. That is Ashwani Kumar. The Hit Girl is an autobiography of which actress? The Salman Khan has launched the biography of a year uh, after the famous actress Asha Parekh autobiography, The Hit Girl, for which he written the foreword as well. Okay, so she is a very famous, she is a very famous person in Bollywood, and she she is a Bollywood actor, director, producer, and she was one of the top actress in Hindi in this cinema. From 1960 to 1970, and in 1992 she was honored with the Padma Shri also by the government of India. Okay, so Asha Parekh, the autobiography that is the hit girl is a autobiography of Asha Parekh. Who is the author of the book Mato Shri? Okay, so PM Modi releases book penned by the Lok Sabha Speaker Sumitra Mahajan. So the book which this book is penned down by Sumitra Mahajan. Which one of the following book was launched by the Dalai Lama recently? Okay, so the recently one of the book was launched by Dalai Lama, and first of all, friends, there are few things that you need to remember about the Dalai Lama. Dalai Lama is not a name; it is a position, friends. First of all, the fourteenth Dalai Lama is Tenzin Gyatso. Okay, Tenzin Gyatso is the name of a person. This person, which okay, and he is a current Dalai Lama. Okay, so he is a very uh, very famous person. He did many things for the humanity and. Uh, Okay, when the during the 1959 Tibet uprising, when the China attacked Tibet, the Dalai Lama flew to India, where in, where he currently lives as a refugee. Okay, some time later he set up the government of Tibet in exile in Dharamshala, which is often ref, referred to as a Little Lhasa. So Dharamshala is Dharamshala city is also known as a Little Lhasa. What is this Lhasa? Lhasa is the administrative capital of Tibet, and Little Tibet. Because the because the Dalai Lama set up a school in the Dharamshala, the Dharamshala is referred to as the Little Lhasa, and the this 14th Dharam, uh, Dalai Lama received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1989 also. Okay, and he has traveled the world and has spoken about the welfare of the Tibetan environment, economics, women rights, non-violence. Okay, so this is a very famous person and a very very nice and a gentleman. Okay, that in the. the Dalai Lama appealed the United Nations on the right of Tibetan also. This appeal resulted in a three resolution adopted by the General Assembly in 1990, 1959, 61, 65. So because of him, there are few rights which was given to the Tibetan people by the United Nations General Assembly. United Nations. Okay. So he did many many good things to the Tibetan, and his teaching inspired many for the humanity. So friends these are the important questions from the second week of the April so friends hope you like it and you will you will subscribe us and we will going to provide you more videos more content for the upcoming exam thank you and all the best